United. We still did. So we can't know what came from Red Island United. Oh, Red Island United. One sorry, one sorry, one sorry. last session in honor of our mother, Mama Elizabeth Dabanka. Oh, hallelujah. Now, we would want to listen to her, her bio, uh, but before we do that, if you don't mind, we just want to sing that hymn, uh, What Shall I Offer to You, O God, even as Elder David Osei prepares to read the bio of our mother. If you don't mind, please be on your feet and if you want to project that on the projector for us. She went on to further her education at Marcel's 
vocational school, also in Kumasi, where she studied sewing and designing. After graduation, she established her own business as a fashion designer and trainer of both the young and the old. Even though her parents and siblings attended the Church of Pentecost, she never considered herself as a member of the church until she became sick. God is good. She always makes her way. Amen. Which led her siblings to bring her to the church. After receiving her healing, she accepted Jesus as a Lord and personal Savior and later was baptized by the late prophet and chairman of the church, M Chairman M.K. Yehua, who was then a pastor, and it was in November of 1968. After her healing and baptism experience, her faith and belief in God increased so much so that she immersed herself in the work of the Lord and of the church, that she couldn't sit idle for the work of the Lord to be done anyhow. Many doors began to open for her. She became a strong, prayerful, and dedicated Christian. She, who was brought to church, was now seen to aid that her siblings wouldn't miss any church program, and also advising them to do the work of the Lord with all diligence. It was through her dedicated service in the kingdom business that Auntie, as she is affectionately called, met her future husband, Mr. Ubri Yapua Tabanka, who was on vacation in Kumasi from the U.S., where he was domiciled and continues to live here. They were married thereafter and have been blessed with four children. Elder Dixon, I think he's here, I've seen the wife, of Maryland, brothers Emmanuel and Stephen, and our dear sister Doris from Hartford, Connecticut. Auntie and Mr. Yahua are blessed with seven grandchildren. Dickness Elizabeth Dabanka arrived in the United States of America on September 15, 1977. The Church of Pentecost, Rhode Island, was started with the help of our mother on November the 9th, 1990. The first service was held at 197 Newell Avenue, the then residence of Mr. and Mrs. Atta and Tibenis' husband, Atapuku in Pataket, with the help of four other sisters, Auntie Constance, who is now in Dallas, Nicholas Benisokoku, who is here, Sister Pat, who's the other sister in Connecticut, and Sister Equia Drua, and the then presiding elder, who later became Apostle Bediakon. The growth of the church revolved around these dedicated five sisters. Rhode Island Assembly is the oldest assembly in the New England region. Until he was ordained as a deaconess of the church by Apostle Opoku Onina, former chairman of the church. In attendance were the late Apostle Bidiako, the late Apostle Mazua Kusi, and Pastor Ewa, the very first national head of the Church of Pentecost here in the United States. He was the first deaconess of the then Rhode Island Assembly. She had prior served as a presiding sister for 14 years and continued as a presiding deaconess until Elder Dennis Adivio relocated from New York to take over. And she became the very first women's ministry leader and successfully served from 1990 to 1998. She served, she served as the district women's leader from 1998 to 2004. She also served as a local marriage committee member from 1992 to 1998. She was a member of the Welfare Committee from 1990 to 2004. Dikla Tabanka is approachable and always willing to share her thoughts and ideas with fellow church members. She has impacted and touched many lives with her compassion and warmth. And she has been and continues to involve herself in every activity of the women's ministry in the church. She is kind-hearted, she is compassionate, and has a church at heart. 
She anchored her leadership roles on absolute dependence on God. Her immense contribution has helped to bring the church where it is today. Dickness Elizabeth Damanka, you are indeed the Abigail of our time. Your hard work, dedication, and selfless service in the vineyard has been greatly impacted, impactful, and you will be rewarded by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you, Auntie, for your meritorious service to the Church of Pentecost and to the women's ministry. We really appreciate you, Auntie. May God richly bless you. Hallelujah. Auntie, we love you. Amen. We all do love yes. you. We pray that the Lord God Almighty will continue to uphold you with his righteous right hand so that you will enjoy your retirement. Amen. Amen. Presiding sister, presiding dickiness, and to God bless you. Uh, we, we just don't want to also lose the opportunity to also honor uh, my own father, I call him American man. Uh, we used to say, besides every man, there's a successful woman. We would want to say that besides every successful woman, there must have been a man. Uh, I guess you agree with me. Please help me welcome Mr. Obiri Yabwa. Oh, hallelujah. God bless you, Papa. Amen. Amen. If you see that, forgive us. But we just want to correct this one quick one. Now, before Elder Dennis took over, Elder Brown, Elder Brown also came uh, and helped with the church. And so we just wanted to make sure that that is noted. Amen. So Elder Brown, wherever you are, God bless you, and we appreciate you. Amen. At this moment, we want to have one representative from the women uh, to also testify on auntie, uh, we call her Ni. Ni. I want to see her crap. Miss Yah, Auntie Elizabeth, the Maria, you will hear the friend. You are the first, I am the friend. A be friend in Kulu, a be friend in Hami, a be friend in Sweetheart, a be friend in my dear. September 1986, now Miss Yah, Auntie will protect it. Now that that will be a Mamia Buddha, Obichiano. Oh, me, I know, say, of a master to be some in the dinner, make I hear. And will be some, say, me, quite sorry. Now, I said, me, pop and tickles, but I had you been here. Now, some of them, I make I am, said, that change your betty. Now, maybe we pay me, pa, or no, so you pay me. It's yet to be one, four years, nineteen ninety. Now, we see, I yes, it's a process, bigness, constant, a seal, and now, me, who, yes, it's a queer to war. Now, from a decision, and I'm here until you communicate here, where you are, we saw me, honey, why you have miss me, Busso? To me, Francis, I think you have missed this as you be. And now, until I see you, I see you. And to me, since I know Canada, and our friend, we say, your papa, now me, I'm to me, our friend, no. That's how you're presiding there, that your papa be here, no. And to me, friend, my papa, I would do you. Now, I'm saying, I'm going to go, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to go, you can say you be our sorry. Now, whoever wants to be our man, I would love to. Yeah, Papa, the CIA or your Friday, no, me need to have four so directly you know, from New York. And now, by the field, 197 New York Avenue. Now, you start here, sorry. Now. Yeah, your mouth for now, your mommy will cheat you when you're me. Hallelujah. And teach now, me so as I'm in Boko Kunya, sixteen mecha mouth for no more. Now, see, I'm taking the fire for your support. That's how we are lost on one free 
financial secretary help us out? Amen. At this time, we want to present a plaque, and this is on behalf of the entire district. Uh, the assembly is standing in on behalf of the entire Rhode Island district to present uh, this plaque to our mother. And so I humbly want to invite my wife, uh, Mrs. Kitibedu, to do us uh, this honor. I did so start presiding because Elizabeth Dabanka, hallelujah. Now I'm just going to read a citation and uh, our mother will present it to our deaconess. So this is Church of Pentecost USA, Inc., Rhode Island District. I hereby present this plaque as a token of appreciation to Dignes Elizabeth Davanka, in grateful recognition of your meritorious service, passion, unconditional commitment, love, and dedication to the Church of Pentecost, Rhode Island District, and the entire New England region as a Dignes of the Church for the time period of 1992 to 2019. We remember before our God and our Father your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. First Thessalonians 1 Thessalonians 1.3 Presented this day, October 6th, 2019. Amen. 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 Mm. Elizabeth Tabaka, as we normally call her, honey, Baba Iwa, Libra, Kolo, Thank you so much. When I first got to Rhode Island, you told me, Mira, Wabe, Bromwasi, Nabia, Namipasa, or do you hear? Or do I hear? Hallelujah, that was it. I would do too. Now, indeed, our God is not unjust God. He will not forget your commitment, your love, your service, your help towards his people and his kingdom business. So mama, as you retire, our daddy said, from service but not from the service of God. We pray for blessings. May his unmerited favor continue to be your portion. Continue to glow in the Lord. May the Lord grant you good health, long life. So on behalf of the Church of Pentecost, USA Inc., Rhode Island District, New England region, the great New England region, I present this to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We love you so much. God bless you. Presiding Elder, Elder Festus, I'll say, where are you? Hada, how are you, Ante umano wu na nanum ne wasu no munina. I wore Rhode Island Assembly. And I'm moving to nominate envelope way. I'm out to preside and do us a favor. Andy, Regina, New Zealand, Central, and then Eddie, Chicky, and Mom, with a major or bar, and we will continue. Amen. Amen. Yo, at this time, uh, we would want to listen to the response from our mother and uh, her wonderful husband, American man. And the whole entire family can join as well. Amen. Amen. 
a mighty hand to the Lord. Give a mighty hand to the Lord. Sofu edikai, 